The universe, a vast and mysterious expanse, has fascinated humanity for centuries. This video takes you on a journey through the deep cosmos, exploring the enigmatic and awe-inspiring aspects of our universe. From the birth of stars to the enigma of black holes, the depths of space hold secrets that scientists are still unraveling. The birth of stars and galaxies marks the beginning of a cosmic story that spans billions of years. This fascinating process, integral to the structure and evolution of the universe, starts within vast clouds of dust and gas known as nebulae. These celestial nurseries, scattered throughout the cosmos, are the sites where stars and galaxies begin their life. In these nebulae, regions of higher density start to coalesce under the force of gravity, initiating the process of star formation. As the material within these dense regions continues to accumulate, it begins to heat up, leading to the creation of a protostar. This young star continues to gather mass from its surroundings, and when the core temperature becomes high enough, nuclear fusion ignites. This fusion of hydrogen into helium releases tremendous amounts of energy, marking the birth of a new star. The formation of galaxies, immense collections of stars, gas, and dust bound together by gravity, is a more complex process. It is believed that galaxies began to form shortly after the Big Bang, as fluctuations in the density of the universe led to the gravitational collapse of matter. These early galaxies were likely small and irregular in shape, gradually merging and interacting to form the larger, more structured galaxies we observe today. The shape and size of a galaxy are influenced by various factors, including its rotational speed, the distribution of its mass, and its interactions with other galaxies. Spiral galaxies, like our Milky Way, are characterized by their flat rotating disk and central bulge, while elliptical galaxies are more rounded and lack distinct features. Galaxy clusters, the largest structures in the universe held together by gravity, form as galaxies are drawn together over time. These clusters can contain hundreds or thousands of galaxies, further illustrating the vast and interconnected nature of the cosmos. In conclusion, the birth of stars and galaxies is a process that highlights the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of the universe. From the collapse of nebulae into blazing stars to the gradual formation of massive galaxies, these cosmic events not only illuminate the night sky, but also provide valuable insights into the workings of the universe. The ongoing study of star and galaxy formation continues to deepen our understanding of the universe's past, present, and future. The life cycle of a star is a fascinating process that plays out over millions to billions of years, showcasing the dynamic nature of the universe. Every star, regardless of its size, follows a life cycle governed by the principles of nuclear physics and gravity. This cycle begins with the star's formation and ends with its eventual demise, a journey that varies significantly based on the star's initial mass. Stars are born in the dense regions of nebulae, where clouds of gas and dust collapse under their gravity. This collapse leads to the formation of a protostar, which further contracts and heats up until nuclear fusion ignites in its core. This fusion, typically converting hydrogen into helium, marks the birth of a true star and the start of its main sequence phase. In the main sequence phase, stars like the Sun spend most of their lifetime. During this stable period, the outward pressure from nuclear fusion balances the inward pull of gravity. For a star like the Sun, this phase lasts about 10 billion years, but for more massive stars, it is significantly shorter due to their faster rate of fusion. As stars exhaust their hydrogen fuel, they leave the main sequence and undergo dramatic changes. For stars like the Sun, the next phase is the red giant stage, where the core contracts and the outer layers expand and cool, giving the star a reddish appearance. In contrast, more massive stars enter a red supergiant phase, characterized by even more extreme changes in size and luminosity. The final stages of a star's life are determined by its mass. Smaller stars, like the Sun, will eventually shed their outer layers, creating a planetary nebula, and leave behind a dense core called a white dwarf. This white dwarf will gradually cool and fade over time. Massive stars, however, meet a more dramatic end. They may undergo a supernova explosion, a spectacular event where the star's core collapses and the outer layers are blown away. 
This explosion is one of the most energetic events in the universe and can briefly outshine an entire galaxy. The remnants of such an explosion can be a neutron star, an incredibly dense from their birth in nebulae to their final stages as white dwarfs, neutron stars or black holes, stars undergo a series of transformations that reflect the intricate workings of cosmic physics. The study of these life cycles not only provides insights into the stars themselves, but also into the processes that govern the universe as a whole. Black holes, the enigmatic powerhouses of the cosmos, are among the most intriguing and mysterious phenomena in the universe. Born from the remnants of massive stars, these gravitational juggernauts challenge our understanding of physics, particularly at the intersection of quantum mechanics and general relativity. A black hole is formed when a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel and its core collapses under the force of gravity. This collapse can result in a supernova explosion, with the core itself continuing to compress, leading to the formation of a black hole. The core's matter is squeezed into an incredibly small space, creating an object with an immensely strong gravitational pull. This gravity is so powerful that not even light can escape, rendering black holes invisible and detectable only through their effects on surrounding matter and space. The boundary around a black hole is known as the event horizon. It marks the point of no return, once matter or radiation crosses this boundary, it cannot escape. The size of the event horizon, or the Schwartz's child radius, depends on the mass of the black hole. Inside this boundary, all the conventional laws of physics as we know them cease to apply, leading to fascinating and as yet unresolved theoretical challenges. One of the most puzzling aspects of black holes is their singularity, a point at the center where the laws of physics break down. Theories suggest that at the singularity, matter is compressed to infinite density, creating conditions that defy our current understanding of the universe. Black holes are not just theoretical curiosities, they have practical implications for our understanding of the universe. The supermassive black holes found at the centers of most, if not all, galaxies, including our own Milky Way, play a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Their immense gravitational pull influences the orbit of stars and the growth of galaxies. The study of black holes has also led to the discovery of phenomena such as quasars and gamma-ray bursts, the most luminous and energetic events in the universe. Quasars are powered by the accretion of material onto supermassive black holes, while gamma-ray bursts are thought to be associated with the formation of black holes following a supernova. In conclusion, black holes are among the most fascinating and enigmatic objects in the cosmos. Their existence challenges our understanding of physics, offering a glimpse into the most extreme conditions in the universe. As our technology and theoretical frameworks continue to evolve, we may one day unlock more of the secrets that these cosmic giants hold. Deep space exploration has revealed a universe filled with extraordinary phenomena, from the colorful expanses of nebulae to the enigmatic pulsars and the brilliant quasars. These celestial objects offer invaluable insights into the complex and dynamic nature of the cosmos. Nebulae are vast clouds of dust and gas, often spanning hundreds of light years across. They are found throughout galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Nebulae play a crucial role in the life cycle of stars. Some, like emission nebulae, are birthplaces of stars, illuminated by the energy of newborn stars within them. Others, such as planetary nebulae, are the remnants of dying stars that have expelled their outer layers. Reflection nebulae, glowing with the light reflected from nearby stars, and dark nebulae, dense clouds obscuring the light of objects behind them, add to the diversity of these cosmic nurseries. Pulsars, another remarkable discovery in deep space, are highly magnetized, rotating neutron stars that emit beams of electromagnetic radiation. These beams are only observable when they point toward Earth, creating a pulsating effect. Pulsars are incredibly dense and have precise rotation periods, making them useful for testing the laws of physics under extreme conditions. They also serve as cosmic lighthouses, helping astronomers study phenomena like gravitational waves in the interstellar medium. Quasars are among the most luminous and distant objects in the universe. Powered by supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies, quasars emit enormous amounts of energy as matter spirals into these black holes and heats up. 
they shine so brightly that they can outshine entire galaxies and are visible across vast cosmic distances. Quasars provide crucial information about the early universe, helping astronomers understand the growth of black holes and the formation of galaxies in the young cosmos. Each of these celestial phenomena nebulae, pulsars, and quasars contributes to our understanding of the universe. Nebulae reveal the processes of star birth and death, pulsars offer insights into the nature of extreme physics, and quasars give a glimpse into the distant past of the universe. Together, they represent the diverse and dynamic tapestry of the cosmos, continuing to intrigue and challenge astronomers and astrophysicists. The concept of an expanding universe is a cornerstone in modern cosmology, fundamentally changing our understanding of the cosmos. This expansion, first observed by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, implies that distant galaxies are moving away from us and from each other at speeds proportional to their distance. This observation led to the formulation of the Big Bang Theory, which posits that the universe began as a singular infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. The rate of this expansion, driven by a mysterious force known as dark energy, is not constant. Recent observations suggest that the expansion is accelerating, a discovery that has profound implications for the fate of the universe. The presence of dark energy, which makes up about 68% of the universe, is one of the biggest mysteries in physics. It acts in opposition to gravity and is responsible for this accelerating expansion, but its nature remains largely unknown. Equally mysterious is dark matter, which, along with dark energy, challenges our understanding of the universe. Dark matter is invisible and does not emit or absorb light or other electromagnetic radiation, making it extremely difficult to detect directly. However, its presence is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter, radiation, and the large-scale structure of the universe. Dark matter constitutes about 27% of the universe's mass energy composition, playing a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Unlike normal matter, which makes up only about 5% of the universe's density, dark matter does not interact with electromagnetic forces. This means it does not interact with light, making it not only dark but effectively transparent. Despite its elusive nature, Dark matter's gravitational influence is observable in the rotation of galaxies, the movement of galaxy clusters, gravitational lensing of background objects, and the temperature distribution of hot gas in galaxies and clusters of galaxies. The study of dark matter and the expansion of the universe are interconnected. Understanding how galaxies form and evolve in an expanding universe under the influence of dark matter is a key area of research in astrophysics. The interplay between these dark components and the visible matter in the universe is critical for understanding the past, present, and future of the cosmos. In conclusion, the concepts of an expanding universe and dark matter have revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. These phenomena pose fundamental questions about the nature of the universe and its ultimate fate, driving much of the current research in cosmology and astrophysics. As astronomers and physicists delve deeper into these mysteries, they hope to uncover the secrets behind the expansion of the universe and the true nature of dark matter. The quest to find life beyond Earth is one of the most intriguing and challenging endeavors in modern science. This search extends from our own solar system to the farthest reaches of the universe, encompassing a wide range of scientific disciplines and technologies. Within our solar system, Mars has been a primary focus due to its past potential for harboring liquid water, a key ingredient for life. Robotic missions to the Red Planet have searched for signs of past or present microbial life, examining Martian rocks, soil, and atmosphere for clues. Beyond Mars, the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, such as Europa and Enceladus, with their subsurface oceans, present another promising avenue for the search for life. These icy moons are thought to have environments that could potentially support microbial life, shielded beneath their frozen surfaces. The search for extraterrestrial life also extends to exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. Advances in astronomy and space technology have led to the discovery of thousands of exoplanets, many of which lie in the habitable zone of their stars, where conditions might be right for liquid water to exist. 
Observations of these planets' atmospheres, sizes, and orbits provide valuable data in assessing their potential habitability. Astrobiology, the study of life in the universe, encompasses not only the search for extraterrestrial life, but also the study of life's origins and conditions on Earth. This includes understanding extremophiles, organisms that thrive in Earth's most extreme environments, which broaden our perspective on the potential for life in similarly extreme conditions elsewhere in the universe. Another approach in the search for extraterrestrial life is the use of radio telescopes to listen for signals from intelligent civilizations. Projects like the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence CD, scan the cosmos for signals that could indicate the presence of technologically advanced life. While no definitive evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence has been found, these efforts continue to refine our understanding of where and how to look for signs of life. In conclusion, the search for extraterrestrial life is a multifaceted endeavor that spans various scientific disciplines and technologies. From the examination of planets and moons in our solar system to the study of distant exoplanets and the listening for signals from outer space, this quest not only seeks to answer the fundamental question of whether we are alone in the universe, but also enriches our understanding of life in its myriad forms. As technology advances and our understanding of the cosmos deepens, the prospect of discovering life beyond Earth becomes ever more tangible.